on the rain to change to snow. We still anticipate that to happen uh, mid to late afternoon for most of us here in the Denver, Boulder and Fort Collins areas. Of course, in some areas, especially above 6,000 feet, that transition has already happened. We expect extremely wet weather for our evening commute. And then overnight tonight, we're going to have the heaviest snow and the biggest impacts from this storm. First alert radar here where you see the green, that's rain. Where you see the blue, that's snow at least mixed in. Down south, Highlands Ranch, one of those places, there's at least a few snowflakes mixed in. Same thing down toward Castle Rock. But the significant snow is still several hours away. Our first alert future cast, I think it's being uh, a little overzealous here on the changeover. I don't think it's going to quite happen by 1 p.m. It's probably going to be an hour or two after that. But certainly by mid to late evening, we're all going to have snow, heavy wet snow falling along the front range. And as we've been talking about, that's our big concern. It's not so much the total accumulation as it is the weight of the snow. It's so heavy, it's so wet that when it lays down on the trees tonight, it's going to create uh, issues with at least small limbs uh, breaking and perhaps big limbs breaking in areas that get more than six inches. It's those big limbs that are going to come down, and that's obviously the biggest concern in terms of down power lines, spotty power outages, especially in older neighborhoods that have those overline, overhead power lines, and even trees coming down on vehicles and homes and businesses and buildings. We could have those issues overnight tonight. By noon tomorrow, the precipitation will be winding down. Whatever's left should be pretty much over with by tomorrow evening, and then we'll be most Mostly dry on Sunday. So temperatures right now in the 30s. We started the day at 40. We've dropped to 37 currently at the airport. We're going to, have to get a little bit colder before we see snow everywhere. That will happen later on. And then overnight tonight, we hoped we would have been able to avoid a hard freeze, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. Teens and 20s pretty much statewide tonight here in Metro Denver. 28 for our overnight low. 28 and lower is considered a hard freeze. Very unusual for this time of year. Uh, and we do anticipate that tomorrow morning. In fact, we could go as low as 26 degrees above zero. So a freeze warning 9 p.m. until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Here are the snow amounts. Again, the numbers are going to vary a lot from one specific area to another. The highest amounts, foothills and mountains, and also down along the Palmer Divide. Again, it's going to be heavy, wet snow. Hard to measure this total, but we're going to certainly get over an inch of liquid. That's for sure. Winter storm warnings extend down toward Colorado Springs out into Summit County as well. West of there, I-70 from Copper Mountain over toward Glenwood. We have a winter weather advisory, 5 to 11 inches around Aspen and then out east, the Lyman area. Winter weather advisory for 3 to 7 inches of heavy, wet, slushy snow. So McKenzie will put the chance at 100% through tonight of wet weather, close to 100% tomorrow. Most of the moisture tomorrow will be in the morning, and then tomorrow night, another freeze. We're going to set records tonight and tomorrow night as we drop to 28 degrees both nights, and then cool on Sunday, but drier, and then unsettled weather to start next week, and then a big warm-up the middle to end of next week going into Memorial Day weekend. All right, we get the best of both worlds this week, Ashton. I suppose we do. We did need the moisture. That's the good news here. We did. All right, thanks so much.